too excited to wait. Oh, sweet mother of tap. I'm Lucy. And I'm Jono. And this is Renault Goals. It's laundry makeover time. And to be honest with you, this doesn't actually qualify as its own room currently because it's just literally a washer, dryer, and a sink in the current main bathroom. So we have big plans for this guy. Okay, so this does not look like much now, but trust me, this is going to be amazing, <laughs> okay? So this is where the new build is going to start. This is not your average renovation, guys. So this is where we're getting serious. Right now, I'm actually at the bottom of the stairs. This landing, what we're going to do is build out and we're gonna have a long hallway that runs off this stairwell. And from that hallway, we're going to have a new laundry, a new bathroom, and we're also going to have two very generous bedrooms with their own ensuite. So they're all gonna run off that hallway. And then that hallway is actually going to look out onto that lower deck area. So just a quick and easy fix then. <laughs> Starting with a brand new room, I think we'll hand this one over to the builders to get all framed up. Then I'll come in, clad the walls and get all the cabinets in. into the laundry. What do you think? Good. Yeah. Good size. Yeah. Happy? Yeah, that's a great size. We're obviously it's gonna get much smaller. It is gonna get a little bit smaller because we're gonna be having cabinetry on either side. We've got full height here, fridge, because apparently I fought over this and I lost. I was like, we do not need another fridge. Drink oh. fridge, we do. And we've got <laughs> one. Sorry, just came in to check what the plumber did and not his problem, my fault, because I should have communicated because I made a change to the designs. I didn't communicate them to Julie and the plumber. And so now the sink is here, but it actually needs to be here. So how difficult is that gonna be for him to fix that? This is gonna have to redo it. Yeah. Yeah. This is literally what I tell everyone all the time. Make sure you communicate your changes to your builders, to your trades. I made a mistake, I stuffed up, but we'll be able to fix it. So essentially we're gonna have the sink here. Above, I'm actually going to put in a beautiful towel rail, which will act as a additional drying station. So you can hang kind of wet clothes, which will drip into the sink, which will be great. We're gonna have a beautiful bench top, tiled splashback, a couple of wall cabinets, washer dryer down here, and then over here, full height cabinets, fridge, epic champagne storage, another cabinet here for kind of like brooms, mops, that sort of thing. Very functional. I just think it's gonna be good. Beautiful view, love it. Yeah, Very not a bad great. view for a laundry. Yeah, yeah, really good. So, just need to fix that. So I did make a few changes to the original layout of this laundry. I mainly wanted to reposition the sink. So I wanted to move the sink closer to the window. The reason why I wanted to do that is because I wanted to create a very generous bench space. And I also wanted to make sure that I had enough room for my washer and dryer to fit underneath. I designed these cabinets using the Bunnings online design service. So I actually did this at the same time as designing the kitchen. So I will be using Caboodle cabinetry this time as well. It was really helpful for getting these final drawings together because I did have a couple of elements in the room that I needed to navigate, specifically the fridge on the opposite side of the room with those tall cabinets. So I do have all new appliances in this laundry. So Electrolux fridge, washer and dryer. I literally sent all of those product dimensions to Bunnings. So they had every measurement that they needed to know in order to make sure that the cabinetry fit perfectly. So now that I'm happy with the design, all I need to do is finalize the finishes before I get it ordered. <laughs>
laundry design time. So I've got my finishes here so I can show you what I'm actually using for the interiors of this space. So firstly, let's start with color. So I've actually selected Sago Quarter. So this is a quarter strength of the color Sago, which I've actually used upstairs. You can see here that is Sago whereas this is Sago quarter strength. So I like the fact that that's a lot lighter and it's just a good thing to note when you're choosing colors, whether you're looking at, you know, swatch books like this one, or if you're just heading into Bunnings and grabbing, you know, these paint swatches, you can actually ask them to get sample pots made up for you in both half quarter strength. Now I'm gonna be pairing this with the natural white aqua enamel. You can see there that there is just such a subtle soft contrast. So cabinetry, these are some samples again I picked up from Bunnings, staying with a caboodle cabinetry system, but I am choosing slightly different colors to what I did in the kitchen. So this is wild garlic and then this is hazelnut V. So I like bringing in that timber tone and then this is just a really soft off-white. For the handles of that, I'm gonna stay consistent with what I've done already. So keeping with this brass low and co Kintour handle. Again, I'm only gonna use one for both my wall cabinets and also for my base cabinets. It looks really nice on both that timber and also that wild garlic. So I'm really happy with that. Bringing back in this Topaz Concrete. I love this tone so much. So that will be for my bench top. So this is Caesar Stone. I just love this. It's just rich, it's strong, it's earthy. I love it. And it really pops against some of these softer tones. And then to complement that, I'm keeping really nice and neutral with my tiles. So this is a nude match. This is the Riverton from Tile Cloud. I'm gonna be doing that in a offset brick pattern on that splashback. And then on the floor, I'm also gonna be bringing in a limestone. This is in ivory, so this is from Tile Cloud as well. Now for my sink, I've chosen the most beautiful white porcelain deep single bowl sink. It is the Memo Harper from Reese. I love the freshness of this, especially against that bench top. And then for my tap, oh my God, my tap, I've chosen the most beautiful curved tap. It's from the Sussex range. And again, we're gonna stick with the brushed pure gold. This is Lux PVD. I absolutely love how those three work together. And in that same finish, I'm actually going to be bringing in a towel rail, a much bigger one than this actually. So instead of it going on the wall, I'm actually gonna be hanging it underneath the wall cabinet. So that way it basically means that it's extra drying space so you can hang clothes, that sort of thing. Okay, so that is my look. Simple, classic, love it. So I've been installing the caboodle cabinets in the laundry. Not a hard job, just a time consuming one. And some of those full height cupboards are quite large. So a little bit of maneuvering around to get them in. We've got most of the filler panels in now, but it's just time to get the kickers in and the doors installed. So you seen the laundry yet? Yeah. A lot's happened. I feel like we've taken 10 steps forward and like 15 steps back in here though, to be fair. <laughs> Cause it's now become like the kitchen lunchroom. and the lunchroom. So it's like filled with stuff. So you've got to use your imagination. But this is the only room where the floor tiles are actually finished and grouted. Yeah, and they look great. They look absolutely spectacular. There should be protection here. I shouldn't be standing on this right now. We need to get this ready, clear it out. This can no longer be the workroom. I'm lunchroom, like I'm calling it. No one's using this anymore because stone's going in. And as soon as the stone's in. It's finished. I don't want any trades in here. I have to bring all the appliances in here because yep. I need to get them out of the other room to sand the floors. Right, okay. And I don't have anywhere else to put them. So they're going to go in situ and then they're just going to have to get pulled out again. That's probably, is there a hole cut out down there? There, there yeah. is. That's probably That's one of the most hole. annoying things about just the double handling of things. Yeah. Like you can't, yeah, I've you're ever moving things around. Times, really. Yeah, it's kind of a pain. And then have you also noticed that this room is totally backwards because I haven't actually painted the ceiling yet. Nothing's and all painted. the joinery is in and the floor is done. Yeah, the chip rock went in after the cabinets ran as well. Oh! 
It's a backwards room. It's a backwards room. We'll fix it. It's all It'll determined by when we could get stuff. So yeah. we, we've had stone booked in for six months because yeah. we couldn't get any other later dates before Christmas. You got to do what you what you got to do. And we couldn't push things back. We just charged on forward. And if it means that I have to crane my neck to get to the ceiling, then so be it. We'll deal with it. It's fine. Everything's fine. What have you found? Sussex has arrived from Reese. Do you have a knife? I've got a blade. Do you want to see it against the tile? Oh. <laughs> what have you done? Maybe my plan was to do... Oh, it's so close. I know why. We made it smaller. Because the room's not as long as it was going to be. There should have been another filler panel at the end. Oh, but it still wouldn't have fit. Oh, it would have fit. There's meant to be a filler panel at the top, I think. But it doesn't fit because it's left to right. Not enough room. I think I can fix it. How? Trickery. What do you mean? Are you going to cut it? I'll see. If it comes Don't apart. cut it, it's beautiful. No, but you won't see the cut. If we take that little thing out, we can cut it. Go in and you'll never, you'll never see the cut. Yeah, I really want that to be as wide as possible. Like, how cool is that? Right. I want to find that. Oh, I want yeah, to find, find that tap. Tap. Yeah, let's do this. Excited to wait. Oh, sweet mother of tap. fresh new landing that leads on to our laundry. I just want to hang this, bring in some greenery, and then finish the laundry. Can you pass me the hammer? Bits. Bits. touches for the laundry when it comes to styling a laundry I've got to be honest I keep it really simple and very practical I always really like putting out beautiful soaps on display I've actually chosen leaf because they're Australian made and they look beautiful so I've actually got these throughout the entire house so soaps are beautiful and I also just got some clippings from outside and popped it into a beautiful old um, bottle which I found at an op shop other than that baskets are always great I love a hanging rail it's a really great space to have towels and also to hang clothes and then I actually brought in some nice sort of wicker baskets this existed here before I like it it has character and other than that look at that nice clean bench space <laughs> What 
What a room. Yeah. There wasn't a room before. <laughs> there wasn't a room before. No, it was just a corner it behind a door. Yes. Yeah. So already we made vast we improvement. <laughs> we do <Finish>. win. <laughs> but I really value a very functional and good looking laundry. I think it is probably one of those rooms that people often overlook. But when you do actually take the time to create a dedicated laundry space, it makes for just much better living. It's great because you can close the door and if it looks terrible, oh. you don't have to go in there. <laughs> but if it's all clean and tidy it's nice that it's organized has a good layout is functional the man raises a valid point i mean the laundry does often become the dumping ground especially if you've got lots of kids and stuff running around the house so yes you are wet quite suits, right dirty clothes yes wet suits <laughs> So when it comes to the washing, obviously we pimped it out with new appliances. So we got a new washer and dryer from Electrolux. We got these based on personal experience because we actually have these ourselves at home and they are... They're good. They're so good. How's the ding when they're finished? Hey, I'm oh, done. I know. It's just so <laughs> gently he goes, what's up? I finished. Yeah. You can get me whenever you want. And same with the fridge. <laughs> the fridge talks doesn't to you. ding at you. What? Yeah, when you leave the door open too long. Oh, well, yeah. When well, you leave the door that open That is too true. Long. You won the battle of having the fridge. And I must admit, you may have proven me wrong, but it is quite good having a fridge in that laundry space because it does access another lower level. And I think I seriously underestimated... Catering requirements? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's the best way to put it. So we have actually put that to good use. The cabinetry on either side. Well done you, John O'Rod, for putting together all of that caboodle cabinetry. Yeah, a bit of a challenge because I couldn't do it in the room. I think I did it in the rumpus room, most of it, and upstairs, yeah. and then moved it all around. It was a bit of a shuffle game to get that in. Yeah. But it came together well. But it was a good design. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really wanted to make sure that I introduced bench space so that we actually had area to be able to fold clothes, to put clothes. And also I wanted to have that drying rack. So above that sink, I wanted to be able to hang wet clothes or dry clothes, but have them up there. And speaking of the sink, I do love that sink. I Great love sink. how deep it is. I love the sharp white porcelain. It contrasts beautifully with that Caesar stone it bench does. top. So that's the same topus concrete that we use throughout the rest of the home as well. So I kept things very consistent and also with the consistency, the brush brass gold of that tap. That was from Sussex as well. And the rail. And the hanging rail above it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Talking about the hanging rail and the drying. Yeah. How good is the underfloor heating in a laundry? It works even better, I think, than the bathroom. Ah. Uh, because you close the door. Absolutely. And it act legit heats it up. Yeah. It's so good. And if I'm ever just feeling a little bit cold, I can just <laughs> go it into the sauna? laundry <laughs> and just warm myself up. But it really does. It acts as a really good drying space as well. Yeah. So the underfloor heating, we were wondering if that was overkill, having that in the laundry, but it is a very practical. It'll be thing good in winter. Absolutely. Yeah. And those floor tiles as well, they are beautiful. So they are gonna be consistent throughout this lower level. And I went nice and neutral with the tiles. I did choose to go horizontal with that kind of traditional brick stack, the same as I did in the kitchen. With the cabinetry, you've got a couple of different colors going on, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but the handles are consistent with what we did in the kitchen. Yes. I did want to keep a level of consistency throughout the home. So I have done that through my choice of hardware, the handles, but I have had fun with some of the other finishes. I think it's important to try and keep a few things consistent if you're going to play around with other elements in the room. But I must admit, I love the new landing. Like how dramatic is that when you walk down the steps? Got that beautiful timber flooring rolling out in front of you. That wonderful moment with the artwork and the plant. I just think it's a nice moment. It's a good transition from that flooring into the tiled area as well. Yeah. And I think it just makes you excited for what's to come. It's the perfect entry to that lower level. Do you know what the most challenging thing was with this laundry? Was the fact that we did everything backwards. Like it True. became the room that like you started making the cabinets and we're like, oh, we'll just get the tile at it to move around. And then the tile is like, no, I'll tile. I'll and be so here you tomorrow. <laughs> so I took them out again. Yeah. And then you just finished the cabinets because you needed to finish the cabinets because we had to get the stone in and then the ceiling hadn't been done. 
So like it was just a mess. And so a a mess, we had we to gyp rock the ceiling after the cabinets were in. So it was just one of those rooms that was a challenge. A physical challenge. Mm. So all in all, great room, great solution. What's next? This Jono caused me a little bit of anxiety. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Like I'm in Breaking Bad and I'm making crystal meth. Or I'm one of those cleaners. I leave the site for four days. I'm away for four days. And I come back and it's not right. That's a sexy tap. Yeah, Lucy, you tell Lucy. It looks good, Lucy. I'm literally talking to myself and telling myself to back myself. Why can't I back myself? I'm second guessing myself. Just make a decision. Remember Whoa. from last time? Quick decisions, good decision. How's the storm? All our cabinetry's outside. Yeah, I know. You got all the cameras. My jacket's outside. I brought it in. Look at the hail. <laughs> 